Welcome back. Now in this video, we will simply show the upload job right in here on the job screen that we just uploaded before. So we will show that job right in here. So basically, for showing that job, what we will do, we will simply first create a design for the job screen, and also right after, we will have to write the query in order to retrieve the data and show it right in here on the job screen so let's go and do that but first of all we will create a design for the job screen let's go towards the widgets there we go and right in the widgets open that we will create a new dart file and we will name this as a job widget so in this dart file we will implement the design there we go the job widget dot dot in here we will have a stateful widget so write st there we go now we will name this as a job widget that's fine in that's fine remove that const key we don't need this now simply click in here on the stateful widget and import the library material dot dot now we're gonna need some string track variable first let me just define that right in here we will say final and string type the first one that we will create for the job title that we are about to show and also right after we will show the job description Let me just create it one by one. Also, the third one that we will create for the job ID and the other one will be uploaded by and also we will get the user image. So in here final string user image right after final string we will get the name so in here just create it one by one and the other one that we will create for the recruitment okay right after let's create it for the email and right after the last one will be just for the location now let me create a constructor for that so in order to do that we will say in here const and then we will say job widget call the brushes and write in here semicolon take this down and then we will say required okay this dot job title comma now we will simply copy that copy it and also paste it for the job description for the job id uploaded by user image name recruitment email and location okay simply copy it from here and paste it right in here so it will be easy uploaded by user image and also the name we copy it from here and paste it right in here document paste it right in here also the email paste it right in here location paste it all fine as you guys can see now let's jump right in the widget build okay and there you will remove that container and you will have a card widget okay there we go take this down first for that card 
we will set the color and we will go with the colors y24 and right after we will set the elevation to 8 and also let's set the margin and insect we will go with the symmetric one and we will set the horizontal to 10 and also we will set the vertical to 8 that's fine and here we will say child and now we will have a list tau widget right in there we are going to take the on tab even for now we will leave this empty and later on we will work on that right in the upcoming videos for now we will just implement the design so that you guys can see in here add the const modifier and right after in here on a long press we will delete the dialog okay but for now we will leave this empty and later on we will work on that and then right after content padding as inside we will go with the dot symmetric set the horizontal to 20 and also the vertical that we will set it to 10 and let us go towards the leading we will have a container widget right in there right in the container we will do some padding as in sex dot only we will set the right to 12 and right after let's set the decoration bolts decoration right in there we will set the border on border in here and we will set the right to the border side the width one that's fine and here add the const modifier also in here and also to this box decoration all good now the first thing that we will show right in the card okay it will be simply a user image so for that what we will do right down in here you will say child and with the help of image dot network we will show that we will say widget dot user image for now we are just implementing the design but when I will we will run the app and test it I will explain it again so don't wait for that and also right after the user image we will show the title job title so for that below this container we will say title and it's gonna take the text widget in which we will simply say widget dot job title now the max line will be for the job title too you can increase or decrease it according to your choice but I'll go with the two and overflow will be simply the text overflow there we go dot we will go with the ellipses that one and now we will do some style as usual text style and the first thing that we will set the color so we will go with the colors let's go with the amber comma and then we will set the font weight it is going to be font weight dot bolt and right after let's set the font size we will set it to 18 So first, as I tell you before, we will show the user image, okay, that is going to be the profile of a user and right after, we will show the title, job title, okay, and 
they are just designed for that job title the max line is 2 and everything right in here is just a simple code now in here add the const modifier just to remove that your lines the code will be clean now let's move further now you will add the subtitle right in here in which you will have a column widget and right in the column widget it will take some properties the first one that we will set cross axis alignment we will set it to star cross axis alignment dot star and also you will set the main axis alignment we will set it to star main axis alignment node to star so the alignment is gonna be just on point okay let's move further you will say children right in the children you will have a text widget so we are about to show the name for that user who will be online so in here comma first and tag this down with the help of widget dot name you will get the name of a user and the max line will be 2 and the overflow text overflow will be that similar to the job title so in here we will copy and here we will paste it okay ellipse is good for the text overflow so that overflow will basically just handle the usual overflow now right after we will do some style so for that we will copy that from here and in here we will paste it now simply we will set the color for the name to black and it's going to be bold and the font size we will make it a little small that's fine so we are done with the name so this thing will simply show the name for the user who will be online as I told before is this the design that we are implementing you guys will get the idea more whenever we test the app and you will see it right in here on the job screen so don't worry for that and I will also explain it again it's just a simple code now let's move further so below the name right in here we will also show the job description but we will create some height between the name and the job description that we are about to create so right down in here we will say size box with a capital S and we will set the height let's set it to A add the constant modifier now below that we will have a text widget for a time saving we can manually write it but for a time saving I will copy that and we will make a little change in it copy it from here and below this size box in here paste it there we go okay so we will change this to the job description next line will be 4 because the description gonna be a little lengthy so we will set it to 4 and the overflow will be similar also the style we will set the font size to 15 it's gonna be a little big in size the color will be black and we don't want the job description bold so we will remove that it's going to be simple tax that's fine and right after we will simply show the icon so for that what we will do below this column we will say drawing there we go and let's go and create that icon in there we will say icons and it's going to be simply keyboard we don't see the suggestion for the right the left is right here there we go keyboard arrow right we're going to have that icon comma in here and the size is going to be ultra big 30 and also we'll set the color colors dot black that's fine add the const modifier and we are done and one more thing guys 
and here we left this on long press empty right in the upcoming videos we will create a method it is going to be simply for deleting the dialog so we will create that method right in the future videos and we will call upon that right in here but we will work on that right in the future and also for the on tap event we just leave this empty for now later on we will create a job detail screen right in the future videos and we will call upon that screen right in this on tap event for now we don't need this we will work on that right in the future so don't worry for that for now we just implement the design as initial phase as you guys can see right in here right in this card all of the design as I explained before in here we set the user image and we will show it also we set the job title and right below in here we set the name of that user and also the job description and then we say write the trailing icon as you guys can see right in here so that's the design that we just implement so we are done with the design and that's it for this video right in the next video we will create a query in order to retrieve the data okay so the query that we will write in the job screen in here okay so that's it for this video right in the next video we will work further so see ya